<laughs> hey, ho, ho, ha, ha. All right, everybody, how's it going? Now then, uh, my last video went for a nice little e-bike ride down the road, seen the police, that was fun. Anyway, um, if you noticed on the last video, uh, I didn't have any uh, speedometer on there. It's because the one I bought wouldn't work. So I sold that on eBay and I bought another one. I bought this. And uh, I think this is from, let me get this right. Uh, it says, Sia Ecosis. Sia Ecosis? Ecosis, maybe? Um, I got it from QS Motors. I don't know if they're the same company or not, but um, it seems like QS Motors got the same sort of parts on their AliExpress uh, site. So I bought this display, and I tell you what, it was a really good display. Anyway, before we get into looking at the display, let's go back in time and have a look what was wrong with the other display. I almost forgot. Hoi! <laughs> So the biggest problem with the original display was that it wouldn't communicate with the Sabaton controller. Uh, it wouldn't show any um, speed, and obviously it was it was trying to communicate back to the Sabaton as well because this display was made by Ryzen Motor, I think it is, and they sell the Sabaton, but they've got their fingers in and they've done some jiggery pokery with the Sabaton they sell. So this actual display is no good unless you buy it paid with the Sabaton. So there we are. So that was what was wrong with that one. It wouldn't show any speed at all. And it kept saying error all the time. So just to make it clear of what I'm actually trying to do with the uh, Sabaton SVMC 72150 is I'm trying to connect the display, or the speedometer, whatever you want to call it, to the blue hole meter wire that comes out of the Sabaton. So another thing I'd like to have a little bit of a waffle about is that uh, the when when you get when you buy something from China from AliExpress for example, um, the documentation or the instructions are, are, are pretty vague, right? So I got an example of something up by you now, right? Where I put a reverse switch on and it says connect to the zero volts or negative of the battery, right? Now that one worked with the 72 volt negative of the battery. Now underneath that one, it says about the the brake. So when you pull the brakes, it cuts the motor. And that says also connect to the, the, the zero volt negative of the battery. When I put that on the 72 volt negative battery, nothing happened at all. But when I connected to the negative of the 12 volt converter, it worked like a peach. So <laughs> it's it, it, very, very vague with what they say. It's pretty basic. It, it, why, why not put a little bit more information into it anyway? Anyway, I'm waffling now. Let's get back to the <laughs> controller. I, I've gone on a waffle. Um, so the, not the controller, the blinking, whatever it's called, speedometer. Let's just put it out a minute. Right. Let's chuck that down there. So there we are. Let me take that off because it looks a bit naff to me. So there we go. That's what it is. It's not that big, it's, it's, but it's got indicators on here as well and everything. And it's got the... It does take a signal from the whole wire. And I know it works because I've tested it. So there. <laughs> but... um. Uh, so it's a really good display. I'll show it in a minute. I'll, I'll wire it up. I've already changed the wire in. It came with um, it came with one four pin plug, and one nine pin plug, but I didn't have any nine pin uh, mail is it connectors. So I changed them to two of them to two four pins. And I know you. I know what you're gonna all say. Oh, you've got all the same connectors, and you're gonna mess them up. I'm not gonna mess them up. I'm better than that, okay? <laughs> I'm going to colour code two of these plugs so I know which which ones are which. Anyway, so let's have a look at the controller showing the speed working. And also, the, the speedometer on you is programmable. So I'm going to have to program it. I'm probably going to have to put the... Um, I'm going to have to put my phone and sat-nav 
on the bars to try and get to see how far out this one is to calibrate it anyway waffling again have a look at this And a shout out to everything e-bike channel because this is where I saw the uh, CD22 display and uh, he helped me out a little bit on this. So thanks a lot. Go and have a look at his channel. Anyway, let's get back to the speedometer. So here we go. Here's the display. I'll put it on now, okay? And uh, it's not focusing. There we go. Focus by there. Okie dokie. And if I put indicators on, you can see here, we've got that last side, that, that side over there, lovely. If I put on the headlights, we get that. If I put on the main beam, we get that. Um, if I flash the, the headlights, we get that. So there we go. And you got obviously got the readout of the battery, uh, how much power is left. Uh, this one, you this I've got like a permanent supply go into this, so that should keep your uh, how many miles you've done all together. And in this one, here it is um, you can reset that every time. Obviously, that's a clock, that's your miles per hour, and you've got an ad adjust button here and a set button here so I can calibrate the miles per hour miles per hour <laughs> I can calibrate the miles per hour um, and also I think you can calibrate the the bat to suit your battery so I'll have to look into that because um, it's not as easy as it looks I think I'll, I'll put a link now to some bloke has bought one of these before and he's gone through the process of setting this up. So I'll put a link on the screen now, and you can see that. And uh, go and have a look yourself if you ever buy one of these. But it's a really nice display because it's really bright. It's, it's, you know, you can see it even outside in the, in the daylight. It's nice and bright um, and well lit. So there you go. And it cost about £54, I think it was. So it's not bad, is it? Um, so there we are. Nice display, CT22. Another thing I wanted to say was I used to have indicators here, either side. I've obviously taken them away now because I've got them up here. Um, I've still got the ignition light there. This still lights up for the lights. And this one still lights up for the uh, main beam. So I've left them there. I'll have to, I'll, I'll utilize these other two here because I had five altogether uh, for something else. But anyway, all my hard work of putting these in, <laughs> and I've ended up moving the indicators up to you. That's just the way it is with uh, building your own bike. Sometimes you change, modify things, you move along. But um, here we are. It still looks nice, doesn't it, with the lights there? So anyway, okay then. So there you go. I still got a few jobs to do. I mean, I got a, I'm still waiting for a twin piston caliper to go on the back brake. That's been delayed for some reason. It's out of stock. Everything's out of stock. I cannot get uh, a 1700 millimeter um, Shimano brake hose anywhere. Out of stock everywhere. I, I've seen a few dodgy websites. I'd rather not go on them. Uh, the ones that haven't got any sort of um, reviews or anything. Or they're in Italy or somewhere somewhere abroad, but uh, so I can't I, I, either a two meter or a seven hundred millimeter um, Shimano. I think is a BH ninety SS. Can't get all of them. I'll, I'll keep looking, but everything seems to be sold out. Um, so that's the brake. I want to get the Shimano brake holes because the one going to the back is actually there's like a cheap sort of I don't know what it is. Very brittle and hard. You can't bend it much. So I don't like that. Um, is there anything else? Uh, I, I was going to say that um, when you put the 
Oh, I'll leave that for another time. <laughs> I can't bother to talk about that. Um, you all wondering what I was on about now, weren't you? So I might as well say, um, when you put the swing arm on, um, it's hard to explain, but I'd put the bolt round the other way because it's where the nut is on the crank side is almost touching the crank bolts. So I, I can't, it's not touching it, so I'm not going to take it off now because it's on there. It'd be a nightmare to take it off. But I'm just saying, if anybody does do one, make sure the bolt is on the opposite side of the crank, if that makes sense. Um, so I'm waffling again. I can't stop waffling. <laughs> um, is there anything else? Anyway, so the Speedo, is it the best Speedo you've ever seen? Or is it just a bit naff? I don't know. I think it's pretty good. Um, but if you like this video, you know, go and find that little thumbs up. Give it a little tickle, you know, give it a little press. And it helps me out. Helps me out a lot because the more likes, the more people see it, you know, and it helps out my channel. So if you could do that, it'd be absolutely fantastic. All right. If you could just go and give the like a like like give the like a like right uh feel free to make a comment below I, I don't mind having a little chat if you want to make a comment below or if you've got any ideas um click the notification bell you know because then you'll be reminded of my pain in the ass videos <laughs> and if i do get a lot of likes you know shall i shall i go and do a speed test to see how fast it goes because that'd be interesting wouldn't it um so, and, and also don't forget, subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one. Hoo <laughs> hoo!